In this tutorial we will use SQL database to create a call center KPI dashboard. Click the Power Pivot tab, then click Manage. Clicking Manage, a new window should appear. From this window, we will import data. Click from Database and select from SQL Server. We can type in the server name and browse to the database. The server name and the friendly connection name are localhost. The connection name is AdventureWorks 2008 Data Warehouse. Click Next, choose Select from a list of tables and views to choose the data to import and click Next. The next screen is where we'll select our data to import. In this example, choose Fact Call Center Table and click Select Related Tables. The Select Related Tables button automatically select every table that is related to the source table selected. After clicking Finish, the import will begin. Once the import finishes successfully we should be able to view all the tables separated into sheets. Click Pivot Table on the ribbon and choose New Worksheet. We want a Power Pivot report that displays total calls and total orders percentages. Select the DIM date header and drag down full date alternate key into the rows section. Drill down the fact call sender header and drag shift to the filters area. Now drag and drop the calls field and orders field into the pivot table values section. The next column we need to add will be a calculated column. Click Calculated Fields and select New Calculated Field. On the Calculated Field window we can select the table name, give the field a name, and enter a formula. In this example we will use the Fact Call Center table, name it Calls Orders Ratio. Formula equals sum of calls divided by sum of orders. We have created a calculated field. After clicking OK, the new column should appear to the right. To format the calculated columns, highlight the column in right click and choose Format Cells. To insert a key performance indicator field just click the icon and select New KPI. On the KPI screen we'll need to choose the calculated field that we are basing our KPI values on. We'll change the absolute value. You can move the slider left and right to setting up the target value. After clicking OK, we notice that the KPI's status have been added to the right. Drill down the Fact Call Center header. We now get a new KPI node in our field list. Check the status box. The dashboard is complete with the KPI. We can play with the Shift filter to analyze results. Thanks for watching.